What we're going to do now is we're going to test and replace the flying diodes in this generator. Uh, in order to do that, we'll have to remove this cover and also the end bell. Got the cover off. Okay, before we pull the uh, end belt off, there's two wires coming from the exciter field that we'll have to disconnect and we'll access those through this panel. This is the uh, wires going to the exciter field and they're held together with a zip tie. We'll remove the zip tie. The wires are pretty long. This will give us access. We'll disconnect these from the voltage regulator. And then we'll be able to um, slide the exciter field out. Okay, now we'll grab the end bell and slide it off and feed the exciter wires through the housing. And we can set the end bell with the exciter field on the ground for right now. There are six flying diodes in the back of this uh, exciter and in order to test these we're going to have to remove them and we're going to remove this one first, unbolting it and also we'll unbolt it from the, uh, the pigtail end and separate the flying diode from the exciter assembly so we can bench test it. This is the one of the one of six of the flying diodes, and we'll use a diode check on our multimeter to uh, to check this. Now we're going to proceed into bench testing the diode. Uh, we've got our Fluke 87 hooked up. We're going to take it to the rotate it to the diode test function. Uh, we'll clamp one end of the meter leads to the pigtail and one to the uh, anode lead and we've got a uh, open lead uh, reading on our meter. We're going to reverse the leads and we've got a 0.474 volt so this is a good diode. That's a good test for this diode. Uh, this diode is shorted and what we're going to do is we're going to perform the test on this diode and I'll show you what a shorted diode looks like. We'll attach the clamps to either end of the diode. We get a zero voltage reading scale. We'll reverse the diode, reverse the clamps on the diode and the same thing we get zero voltage reading scale going both ways. So this diode is bad, it's shorted. This diode has failed open, it's burnt open. So as we test it, when we hook up the lead, you'll see that the, the meter reading doesn't change. And regardless of the way that uh, we hook up the, the test leads, we still get an open reading on our meter.